put a, um, a, 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 an ad in the beginning of the video saying this is full of spoilers. <laughs> okay. Sure. You, you, you need to tell that to the people. <laughs> Welcome back to the Comics Cube, everyone. Today, we are back with Bruno Redondo, and uh, we're talking about this issue that came out at the end of 2021, Nightwing number 87, which is famous for being one long continuous image, and you can see it behind me. How are you, Bruno? Fine, thanks. Uh, it's nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again, too. This, this is really curious to me because the last time we spoke you were talking about the connecting covers of you know nightwing 86 and the other two uh titles that connected to it and you said it was really hard to do three connecting covers on your tablet and then a few weeks later you guys announced this which is 22 connecting images uh what brought on this idea um it was uh, a long time ago. Uh, it was uh, before the pandemic. Uh, Tom and me was uh, was talking about we what we was looking to to do something like this. We was looking to try something experimental with storytelling, um, and we managed uh, several ideas related uh, about we we had we, we had one thing in mind and it was a chase a chase uh, along all the pages and it would it needed to have uh, to be a simple simple script an easy story to tell to focus in the how to uh, in in the in, in a different storytelling and we manage uh, different ideas. We manage to connect uh, the top half of every page and put panels in the in the lower side uh, to do like two different uh, storylines. What was happening to Dick? What was happening in other place? And the the point is that we can't do something like this with Suicide Squad, uh, because uh, with a, um, a, a whole team of characters, we couldn't manage this kind of idea. Mm -hmm. Because in fact, in this, in 87, it was important to have like one little point moving along the space, because in the moment we have, we had two different points, for example, you don't know what moment is each character vinculated to because if there's two here and two here maybe you could mix this in the same moment yes but when it's one little ball moving around it's more easy to do in fact when i when, when we reach the final scene and there's another character, there's a uh, bad girl joins the fight. We had to separate them in using different tricks yeah. to make it work. Uh, so the, the, the point is that it's a little more, a little harder than it looks. But uh, Tom and me was in Paris right before, uh, in October of, uh, uh, of the, previous year to the pandemic and and we started to talk about doing nightwing after uh, social squad so we thought nightwing could be the character to do something like this to do something about one character moving gracefully and focus on him and and that allows us to to make a lot of work in the space around to do a, a portrait of the the stage so uh, we have been thinking about this for more than a year uh, until we had the right moment to do this. It's perfect. Um, and also, I think a lot of people these days, you know, they don't really go for single issue stories. 
uh, and this is the perfect way to do it because because it's something it's something that you could only really do in one issue. I don't think you would have wanted to do this over multiple issues. Would I, would I be correct? No, <laughs> that's not going to happen again. Never. <laughs> How hard was it to do on your tablet? Did you wish you had paper instead, <laughs> or? Uh, no, no, it was in the tablet, but yeah. I had to to made uh, different uh, templates in different uh, sizes. Uh, the planification was in the lower resolution of the file to have a, a quick layout about, it, it was like a, a, a blue point moving around. And I had to, to do the planning in, a, in the lower resolution to handle the wider uh, format of it. And then I have to, to build a, a special uh, a special template to focus in two pages each time, but I called that uh, the double spread with ears because it has double page, but also two pages in the sides. So I, I could take a look to the previous page and what was going to happen next mm. uh, to make sure that it was all the time fitting together. And I have another template in a middle resolution with groups of uh, eight pages to copy paste uh, sketches uh, about this in the middle process to be sure that the scale of the characters and the backgrounds was fitting in, in the long term. Because if you was only looking at two pages, you could be wrong about what's fitting here and here. So it was a madness. It was like to build a new working system just for, for one time. Yeah. Is, it, is there one long file on your computer where it's just the one long image? No, no. There's a lot of uh, files because, because, you know, I, I work with, uh, with, with an iPad. Okay? Yeah. So there was a lot of process that I had to be sure to save the file just before uh, doing the process. Yes. Because in most of these uh, copy paste uh, big, uh, uh, big slice of, of pages, uh, and the program shut down because uh, I reached the, the limit of the, the power <laughs> of, of this iPad Pro. So uh, I can't have a full image, but, uh, but Adriano Lucas, uh, my colorist, he works with a really powerful uh, computer. So he was, uh, he could put it all together. So he, is the only one that has a full file with the full image of the full issue. I think it's interesting because um, there have been other comics before that did one long image, but the ones I can think of, they, they're usually more psychedelic and there are, you know, there are reasons for the multiple images. Yours is the first one that I've ever seen that follows a, a storyline like, you know, um, an actual chase and you're you're basically using that 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 effect that we've seen you use in previous covers right you, there's that one cover uh where N nightwing is coming and he's changing while coming down the stairs so you basically did that for this whole uh for this whole issue i think that's quite interesting uh so it uh, what i i promise myself that i will not do more of these uh, connected covers uh, with this technique, because the point is that late, recently, like I was preparing for this. So I, I was doing like some tests, previous tests in the triple connected cover in, in, in that uh, full page with the character uh, dressing off while he was going downstairs. So the, the point is that I don't want to be known only for doing this all the time. <laughs> so I, I played with this a lot recently um, and that's okay by now. Uh, I mean, we will probably see Nightwing doing his multiple, multiple, multiple figures moving 
because yeah. it's Nightwing tradition. Yeah. But I will not uh, uh, only use this in the future because, you know, uh, I, I have to try new things, not only specialize in the, the guy who connects things. That's the mark of a true artist. So I can't wait to see what you come up with next. How did Tom write the script? Did Is it a full script or no? Uh, it, it was something fluid because he knew that there was a lot of things that we will find we can or we can do along the progress. So we, we started talking about uh, something basic, something a little simple uh, with some big uh, faces. But um, but he allowed me to decide uh, many things along the, 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 the pages. So he was uh, saying from page X to page Y, uh, it has to happen this, this, this. But you put things in the middle. So it, it was something fluid between him, him and me. And we had some video conferences, uh, some video calls. Uh, talking about this, uh, showing ourselves our uh, dirty sketches. So um, uh, it was something different of the usual process. So th there, there is a script, but it's kind of an open kind of script. So he trusted me to take some choices, to add and to take things off. Because when you was doing it, you were saying, no, you, you can't have a closed door and then open it. For example, uh, the things are not uh, moving in, in the scene. Well, I did a trick for this, for this at some point, but um, mostly you can't change uh, what is happening in the middle of a scene. Yeah. So we, we work it, uh, in a fluid way. So that's why Tom insisted in, in we, in the credits, we are not uh, as usual shown as writer and artist. Yes. We decided it was better to go with storytellers because we was uh, doing that together. And, and Tom uh, uh, did something brave for a writer, which is step aside mm -hmm. to, to give me space to, to move. Yeah, I feel like the best writers know when to... When, when to step aside and when to really trust your artist. Do you think you would have had that level of trust earlier on in your partnership or is now really the perfect uh, time? Uh, we, we know each other since a long time. So we know when we need to, to give the space to the other and to assist instead of fight for a... Uh, uh, one specific idea. So no, no, no. Tom, Tom and me have been managing this like a fluid communication together since a long time. Um, when we saw, so two things. When we saw the black and white um, preview pages, like I always knew that you didn't shy away from backgrounds and from buildings and from architecture. Um, is it something that you enjoy drawing? Because obviously here, you know, you draw a lot of buildings and a lot of a lot of bridges and a lot of uh, cityscapes. Do you enjoy doing uh, backgrounds? Uh, kind of. The point is that uh, stages are important for me because it, it it's a, another character. It's important to know what place are you trying to show. And if you are talking about a city, uh, the city is a living being. So the city has a behavior. When It's not the same to walk in a neighborhood than another different, because uh, this, the, the neighborhood, the, the city, the, it, it breathes in a different way. And it has a, a kind of behavior. So many of the, the things are, uh, that are happening in the city was my point. Some of them was uh, Tom's point, but we both wanted to show, to make a portrait of Blue Haven. Um, not only the architecture, which I, I tried to, to think in something 
that the first part of the, the, um, the story is kind of um, Brooklyn kind. And, and, and there's a lot of real people around. And we went to, uh, and Nightwing is back in Blue Haven, and Nightwing is in, in this public spotlight. So we wanted to show how the, the citizens um, behave with Nightwing. Because yeah. you know in Gotham, people are scared of Batman. But in Blue Heaven, our point was that people love uh, Nightwing. And our point is a little bit that, the, the, that you should be faithful in, in the people of Blue Haven. Uh, Blue Haven is, is another corrupt kind of DC comics city, like Gotham. But our point is that it's not the, the people in the streets. The people is, uh, is good and they have good intentions and they can be generous. And Dick helps them to show that, to be just an, another uh, friendly neighborhood <laughs> like Spiderman. Uh, I was and, going to say. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> so it, uh, uh, Nightwing has more in common with that kind of hero, as Peter Parker is, than Batman. Uh, because of that, it's his heroism choice. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, yeah, sometimes so, uh, people uh, ask so, uh, me. Uh, okay, uh, good. Yeah, no, that's why you see people helping, helping him. You see some love, appreciation, Nightwing. Uh, graffiti in the walls, and you can see the kids playing to be Nightwing, playing to to, the, the, and they are kids that we have seen in previous issues of Nightwing, so we can see that it's the same city, the same uh, citizens. And so uh, that was part of what this issue means. It's not only uh, an adventure story. It's also a panoramic of the people in the city. Yeah, it's a it's a very important series of pages. That page right there. Um, this mm -hmm. guy right here gives Nightwing his bike. Uh, does Nightwing give the bike back? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. He probably take the the ride back yeah. to to look for this guy in, in some way. I I feel he probably will do some detective uh, detective uh, work to look for the guy address because he's a nice guy right like some people ask me sometimes like who because you know people like to do the marvel and dc comparison game and then they'll ask me who's the dc counterpart of uh, spider-man and after reading this i was like i think it's nightwing <laughs> i think nightwing is dc spider-man probably uh, i think so i I will, I will have to think a little bit more, but it's probably like this because, uh, because you know, Superman obviously loves people and loves uh, to, to, to be close, uh, a close character to the, to the people, but he moves in a global scale. So it's harder for him to have a, a straight contact with the, with the men in the street. So the black and white art, the preview art already looked great. Um, so what did you think when you saw the colors from Adriano come in? Because then it looked go absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Adriano is, uh, uh, is the best. <laughs> Adriano is awesome. And I knew that uh, if somebody, if some colorist could do this, it was him. Because we, we wanted him to move the moment of the day along the pages we wanted to to the story to start by uh, late afternoon right yes yeah like late afternoon and the time needed to to move in advance to to move to the night mm -hmm. so it has to change the light uh, and we needed to see how the lamp posts was uh, starting to 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 bright and uh, the city night uh, the city windows start to pop up 
So we, I, I knew Adriano could do this because Adriano is awesome. Adriano is all the time uh, showing his process and, and asking questions, and he's always open to 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 talk about yeah. how to manage uh, the best way to, to do one thing or another. So Adriano is is the is the, the very best in the business. So you were already blowing my mind with this issue as I was reading it, but there's one particular two page spread that really blew my mind. So, you know, it starts with this big image of Dick um, and then he's walking and then the rest of it, you know, he it's a small figure. Like you said, it's this page because when he's joined by Batgirl and then I'm going, oh, no, now there's t- there's two of them. How do we follow them both? Like you said. And then you did this. You moved Dick away. You moved him backwards, but for but forwards. Like so yeah. now we have these two tracks going on here, but you you did you did that and I was like, "Oh, that's genius." I but, I also I also made a kind of a panel fake panel separations with the the building structure. So yes. when the characters are in the background, in, in the distance, there's like one panel, another panel to, to separate a bit uh, each moment, visually make a, a, a symbolic uh, separation, symbolic split. And, and yes, the point was we needed to separate the character's action so we can track one character moving like this yeah and another character moving over the other one so we have two movements that yeah. join at some point so barber is going that way yeah like you said dick going through this is mm-hmm. is like really important i didn't even and, connect and we was doing also panels. looking we wanted also to um to move the character to the camera. I mean, the camera can't move to the character because the the camera is doing a a pan- A A panorama. I don't know the word. Uh, Yeah, the camera is moving like this all the time. The camera can't move because it will destroy the perspective and the the, the focus of the, 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 the proposal. So we need it to build a different levels to give Dick the chance to move himself to the camera so the whole the whole looking has different moments with closer shots and far further shots uh, because it 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 was all the time the same di- camera distance it will be boring. So we was looking for some dynamic kind of changes. Was that hard to, to lay out, to think about, or did it? Yes, that, that yeah. broke my fucking head for <laughs> a lot of days. I, I was like uh, like uh, making notes, and put it in, in, in the, the side of the, of the computer and in the walls and making notes and doing uh, code uh, a color code to different to difference the bad guys the good guys uh, another character so it, it yeah it, it was not easy this issue took like two months to to work when i usually should be doing one issue in one month but if this one i spend half of the summer and, and September uh, working on this. Is that why you took a break from the issue before this? Uh, I, I, I never took a break. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is I, I was always uh, working uh, yeah. against the, the clock, but we needed uh, the future state uh, feeling artist. I, I don't like the feeling word because it, it sounds like it's less and that's stupid. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it's, you know, it's a technicism. But um, 
we had Robbie Rodriguez working on three issues because I was uh, out of time. Um, I, I, I was finishing um, issue 83 when 80, 82 what was already in stores. So uh, I, I was already out of the drugs. So we needed that uh, space. Okay. And that's why either we, we will have uh, two issues by Geraldo Borges. Um, those are 90 and 91. Because, um, because I need it. I, I'm, for example, right now, I'm working not only in Nightwing, but I'm also working in one Superman Son of Kalel issue because oh, uh, yeah. we have a little crossover, a crossover that starts in Nightwing 89 and it ends in Superman 9. So I need some reinforcement, re reinforcements uh, from time to time to, to manage everything because I, I'm not having any break. Do you feel uh, how do you what, what do you feel about uh, Superman Son of Kal El right now? That's been an amazing thing Tom is doing. Huh? I love it. It's yeah. another. Uh, it's again Tom finding something that needs to be told because um, the concept of um legacy is something highly important in dc <clears throat> so having the chance to see what is the next generation in superman family and and looking at that uh at that generational uh conflict generational jump the the different uh uh, way to approach uh, the situation about saving the world uh, from Superman and his son is pretty, pretty interesting. I love it. And you guys are doing something important here too. You're talking about the responsibility of billionaires. I feel like uh, that's an important thing to be saying right now. Um, um, yeah. Yes. It, it's a um, tricky situation. I mean, it's a really hard situation to manage, but it was Tom who did the choice. <laughs> so he, he, he started a, a good fight, but a hard fight. So I'm looking forward to see where it goes. Uh, am I correct in that this page was probably the hardest one for you to lay out in the, in the whole thing? Mm, don't think so it's probably it's, the next one. Oh, the one where he breaks it down yes this one. yes okay. the, the, the difficult point of the previous page it was I had to do a lot of uh, in, the, in the previous and in this one I had to break a lot of uh, perspective laws because I had to this is really technical, but I had to change the um, the vanish point of the perspective from where it was in previous scene. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's something that is uh, it's, it's a, a, an artist thing that if you are if you keep the same perspective along too many space, it builds bizarre perspective which doesn't work so i had to do some tricks to change from one vanish point to another vanish point so the thing is that in that page that you, that you are showing me the the, the this harbor, one? Well, oh, this one no the previous it has some impossible structures to make it work but like it's here, really difficult right. to. There are different vanish points because that because the is really hard to explain without a, a blackboard. So yeah, it's okay. <laughs> forget it. But the, the point is that if you didn't notice anything weird, 
is because it works. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rules are there to, to guide you, but if it if it works and if it, if you have to break it and it still works, it's fine. And exactly, you you need to know the rules to break them. And no one could tell. So this, but this one was harder. Yes, because of the the, the uh, lot of characters in different perspective uh, dips. I love how. Um, I love how you use you guys use the blue on Nightwing's club whenever it's moving around. It's just a great visual. Uh, let's talk about I, your I yeah. No, no, I was saying that I needed that in that page because the bad guys was black suit uh, suited uh, too. So black guys black uh, nightwing suit it was messing all together so i had to change the color in that scene to make the difference to make the the nightwing visual against the bad guys visuals so after those action packed pages this must have been nice to draw huh <laughs> you need to uh, to advise uh, you need to put a um, an, an, uh, an ad in the beginning of the video saying this is full of spoilers. <laughs> okay. Sure. You, you, you need to tell that to the people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that, acting on pages, uh, I was taking some air in the final pages because uh, the final pages are the, the more easy in the, in the whole run. Uh, let's talk about yours and Tom's greatest creation, uh, Bitewing. <laughs> how, much, <laughs> how much do you love drawing Bitewing? I love the dogs a lot, but it's not easy to draw dogs <laughs> because, because I, I'm keeping a mixed uh, race of dog. Because sometimes he looks a little more like a pit bull, and sometimes he looks more like a, another uh, dog races. So uh, I, I, I'm telling myself he's a mixed race uh, dog. So that's why it looks different in different moments. Like my own dog, my own dog is, is a, a dog from the, uh, I, I took him from the street. So he has a little bit of different uh, kind of dogs. So uh, it's not easy to draw dogs. <laughs> I, I love because he, because she always, uh, by doing Heli, she always steal the scene. So yeah. if, if, if there's the dog in the scene, nobody is looking any other thing. So you, you, can, <laughs> you can only put your effort into a cute dog. So everything else can be a mess and uh, nobody cares. <laughs> um, is there any chance of getting a poster edition for, for this issue? I don't know, but I, I think we, it may be, it may be could happen, but I don't know. I hear from some foreign editor, I'm not spoiling it, uh, that uh, some foreign editor is uh, working on the way to make it uh, in a poster. So it's possible that uh, DC Comics in America are not the first one to do it. But I'd love them to, to make it work too. Because uh, we, didn't, we didn't want it to make it in the first edition because maybe that will lose the focus of what we was doing. If people had to deal with a huge folded uh, poster, maybe they could be uh, finding issues to know what they have to do with that. It's like, what, I'm supposed to, to open everything, to read it, or so we, we didn't want it to go in to go with it in the first edition. We talked about it. 
Yeah. But uh, we thought it was better to let the people enjoy the first uh, experience with this in a um, traditional way. Yeah. But I don't know. It, um, it might it might happen eventually. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say I've never bought three copies of a comic before. Uh, but I did for this. <laughs> uh, there... uh, do, do, we, do we? That's... that's uh... Two copies connected, right? Yeah, that's two copies connected. So I bought three it and looks... I kept one. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what I will do myself. Uh, it looks uh, nicely uh, fitted. It's I like, it promise looks you like it's a not. Poster. You, you did a... ah, okay. so I promise you if you look looks... closely, <laughs> it okay, looks like okay. a mess. <laughs> because I'm like, in the distance, it works. <laughs> I put double sided tape on the back of each, and then I did that thing where I was trying to put it down, and then I realized it was slanted, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what do I do? But you know, you know, uh, it's a good idea the black background. Mm. Yeah, those are to, illustration to make boards. it more, more solid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, really quickly, I know that you liked, uh, I know that you just did the teen titans i mean i guess they're just the titans now uh in 88 uh so and what and i know the flash is coming back what else are can we expect from the upcoming months on nightwing uh, we are gonna have the flash um i can't say anything for what's coming next in part because i don't know much but uh because uh, it might change many things. Mm. So, because we are getting close to the, we are getting 100. closer to, to 100 and we need to do a lot before 100. We, we need to, to dive into the important things. So what, we're telling okay uh you you do a great version of the flash by the way so and uh also the rest Thank of the you. titans do you have anything else you'd like to add or anything else you'd like to plug or uh no no only mm, I, I maybe could Use, use the chance to thank of the, the people who is following us and giving, uh, giving us as much uh, love and good feedback about our work. That's something that uh, I think that saved our, our ourselves through difficult times. And it's nothing, it, it's something important. It's something important for us to, to see that people uh, reacts in, in positive feelings about what we are doing. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bruno.